Hello and welcome to ExcelTutorialFree.com where you get to learn Microsoft Excel for free with these videos. And these are the following sections you should visit on our website. Uh, single features on Excel, we'll show you how each single feature works. Project examples is where we put it all together with different tools all in one. And custom videos is where we respond to people's questions posted in the forum section. In this video, we're going to attack this last section under Home for Basics all the way down to Editing. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of go over this little area right over here. So over here, I've already kind of put some random numbers. Okay. And uh, let me go ahead and show you what AutoSum does. Uh, if I go on the one box below, or pretty much anywhere below that has the gap, uh, if I do auto sum, okay, it's going to basically grab a range that's all connected. If I don't want to grab all this range, then I simply just have to lower the range, okay. Uh, but basically, uh, what that does, let me go ahead and take a step back. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hit auto sum, and it added everything up in one shot. So if you, add, if you add everything up, it's 192. Now look at the different options that it does as well. You can do the average. The average number, I'm going to click that and I'm going to hit enter. And when that does that, the average number is actually 24 between all these numbers. Okay. Here's another one. You can count the numbers. Okay. So there you go. It has 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's why it gave you 8 over here. If I go down over here, it could give give me even the max. The max, so I do that, I hit enter once again. And there you go, the max is of course 78, and then you have the minimum. So that's what AutoSum does, and, and, and it's a pretty cool feature. I use it a lot, uh, so get ready to use this feature over here. It's groovy, okay? Uh, then you have fill. Uh, I don't really play with this a whole lot. Uh, clear, you can clear whatever you want. Okay, so I can clear all. Okay, no big deal. Uh, let's go to Find and Select. Uh, I also use Find and Select quite a bit because I like to sometimes replace words. For example, I want to replace a zip code. I want to replace a street name. Anything I want to replace, I usually go to Straight to Replace. And over here, I'm going to say, okay, so Find, okay, find all the twos and replace them with sixes. Now I'm going to hit replace all and look what it did. It replaced that two with sixes. Now look what I'm going to do again. I'm going to one more time. Find all my sixes and turn them into eight. Replace all. Look at that. Everything became eight. Eight, eight, and eight. Now I want to show you something even more cool. I'm going to go back to my auto sum. I'm going to leave it over here. 266. Check this out. Find all the eights and replace them with fives. Replace all. Not only they replaced everything, but even um, the total updated. So that's what's cool about this. This is, this is called a formula right here. This is a formula. Okay, so anytime anything changes, it's going to automatically change. And that's what's really cool about that. Uh, so I'm going to close this up. And that's what you'll find under over here. Uh, there's a few other things, but I don't really mess with those a whole lot. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, the sword feature as well. But for the sword feature, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and kind of make another column right here like this. And then I'll just take another column. Here we go. Just to have a few rows. And look what happens when I hit copy over here and I'm going to hit paste. It actually copied the formula. Saw how this was... Uh, ended up being 39 and not 224. Yep. So it didn't copy the number, it copied the formula. And the formula is to add from here to here. So how cool is that? So that's another feature you want to do. Okay. Now on to sort, which is the last part of this section. Okay, so let's say I want to go ahead and sort this over here uh, from smallest to largest. So I can go ahead and do that. There you go, I made it from smallest to largest. Uh, let's do this one as well. So I'm going to go to these two over here. I'm going to go smaller. I'm going to do largest to smallest on this one. 
So there you go, it gave me the largest and smallest. So that's pretty much what that, that does, it sorts out things. If we go to custom sort, okay, you can get a little bit more detailed over here. I could do on the first one, sort by column O. And then I'm going to do add level. And then I want you to sort it by the column Q. Okay, so what it's going to do, let me make it simple for you. I'll make it P for now, okay? So look what it did. It sorted it from here first and then it went on to here next. So uh, it's a pretty cool little feature of what this does. It could sort it on different levels. You could, um, it may not look so, so right on these numbers over here, uh, but if you have first and last names, uh, there's a lot of different uh, reasons why you'd want to sort one field first and then you want to sort another one second. So uh, that's how you do that when you cross that bridge. And in our future projects, you'll see more scenarios where we actually use that and have a real use for that. But that gives you an idea of what that could do. And that wraps it up, not only for this section, but for this whole basics of home, uh, this level one. Uh, we are finito. On to the next. Yep. That concludes today's video by ExcelTutorialFree.com. Stay tuned for more videos.